Mainstream media was largely the reason for the way that the United States was perceived on a global scale. When the world saw productivity, bravery, and all of the good things, they saw white faces. But whenever mainstream American media saw fit to include the black American image early on, it was disproportionately an image of servitude or entertainment and sometimes sheer laziness and a good for nothing aura that communicated to the world that America had the bottom of the barrel when it came to black people. But what the world wasn't aware of was the fact that mainstream America had a habit of taking pieces of black America that was largely restricted to the grassroots and then rebranding it with a white face and passing it off to the world as though they discovered gold. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Now, if you've ever traveled in the southern United States, you may have come across a state named Mississippi. And if you're driving across the state line, you may notice that there's usually a sign that welcomes you to the state that you've just entered. Or well, when you cross the Mississippi state line and read the welcome sign, it may have a little message that says, Welcome to Mississippi, birthplace of America's music. Now, if you don't know exactly what that music is that they consider to be America's music, it's the blues. Oh, you know I'm going down to the How am I set down on the ground? And the blues was created post-Civil War by black Americans who were former slaves and the descendants of those slaves. Many of the blues songs that these black Americans sang were birthed out of their experiences of oppression and disenfranchisement. But now, fast forward, and the country and state that was arguably the cause for why these black people found the need to create an outlet called the blues, calls the blues America's music. And if the pervading perception of America is predominantly white, then what will that communicate about the blues? Now, if a group of black Americans are adamant that blues be referred to as black American music, there will be those who argue against this idea and claim that doing so will be divisive, even though it came from black America. No, you can't claim that something is just a part of your culture either. It's for people to share and celebrate and use so you can actually have a society that is cohesive and works together as a melting pot. Not all these different groups that can't work together because everyone's so offended. The only people who are actually offended by cultural appropriation don't really have anything else of meaning going on in their lives, it seems. But you ever notice that if black people are protesting something that police did in Minnesota, there will be someone from the mainstream that will say, well, what about Chicago, Chicago? What about black people committing crimes in Chicago, Chicago? And if someone black says that people like Dylan Roof, who racially targeted his victims, are a problem, there will be someone in the mainstream that responds with, well, what about black on black crime, black on black crime, which insinuates that black people are required to fix and address any and all things that black people do in America despite the fact that they don't live in Chicago, nor did they participate in criminal activity. Black on black crime is a bigger threat. But yet, problems that occur amongst people that happen to be black comes with a narrative that these are black people's problem to fix, not America's problem to fix, which raises the question, how is it that the blues belongs to all of America when that came exclusively from black society, but yet black on black crime is never marketed as all of America's problem, but instead is used as a phrase to tell any random stranger that happens to be black that he needs to get his house in order. So if black on black crime is not American, then neither is black on black music, which takes the blues, hip hop, gospel, rock, pop, jazz, R&B, soul, and a list of other things off of the table. No, you can't claim that something is just a part of your culture. Nigga, please. But I digress. <laughs>